G'day guys, my name's Zinkberg and welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play series. I am at the back of the houses that I built last time I was here. I didn't get a chance to show you them. It's really not a lot to show. It's a path and some trees and stuff. Um, we have a potential problem. Well, we have a problem at potential peak. That's hard to say, problem at potential peak. Um, so let's head straight up there. Let's have a look and I'll show you what I'm talking about. No need to panic. The possible painful problem at potential peak. <laughs> I'm just trying to make it more different. That Peter Piper pecked is that there's something missing there, right? Isn't there? Is there? Is it? I think it is. I think. I, and it's not quite big enough, I think. Let me, I'll, I want to, I'll go into free cam. Let me just go into free cam and we'll have a look. I think. The problem is to the left-hand side here, right? Like we've got this cute little hill here <laughs> that was potentially a peak, but isn't. And then we've sort of got the next one over, which is a little bit bigger, but then I feel like it's got to go bigger again. I really do. Now I have put you through two time lapses so far, and I'm not going to make you sit through a third. I am just going to build this thing over the next <laughs> week. <laughs> I want to follow sort of the ground. I can see this thing where it had sort of come out from here and then it's going to go down and around. Or is it? Yeah, down and around and up and up and around and over. It. Oh, that's getting big. And around there. Oh, I don't know. All right, I'll have a look at it. I'm going to get building this thing. The next thing you're going to see is this thing finished. Wait for a second. Here we go. Did you like that? I like that. I think it looks really good. We are going to talk about sight lines. So sight lines are when you're like heading down a path like this, which eye does your direction go and, and building things in places. So when I walk through here, my eye is naturally drawn to the left. Now, part of that is because I know the peak is up there. So maybe I'm cheating. I th let me go back. Let's do that again. So as I go through here, my eye, yeah, I'm really drawn up that way. I really want to look up there. Okay, no, no, but there is obviously a spot here, right, that, that you can see off towards the distance. And, and I feel like we need to put something in there. I think it's here too, as you come across. Yeah, see, in that direction, I've got all these builds over here and it's sort of close to the path. There's the river next to me here. Oh, look, I didn't tell you about the little bridge I built. Look at the little bridge I built. There you go. And then goes, ah, oh, I keep treading on my rocks and they make noises. Um, yeah, here, I think here. Let me, let me go into free cam and just take a look. But I think this spot is the spot. I need to build something. Uh, ooh, or does it need to be up there? Uh, I've got all of this space to fill. I don't think I need to worry about cramming things into spaces. I, I think with the river and everything just being down there, I think this is the place. Yep. All right. So enough of me waffling on about building something in a place. I am going to go into a time lapse for you. Have a look at what I built which I haven't built yet, which I'm going to build now. Have a look now.
<laughs> Famous last words by Zinkberg are ever, I'm going to build a quaint little something. <laughs> And then I end up with this, the biggest building on this side of the river. Uh, so we have the river coming across here. And then we have this giant thing. Um, so this is going to be a library. Well, it's not going to be. It is a library. I will. Yeah. Yeah. I did lots of stuff. I One thing. I'm just sorry. As a, I'm kind of excited by this. I really like this building. See the amethyst crystals that are in there? So I want to do a lot more of that sort of thing as if this is something special. This is something that the elven people of Effendor, Effendale, Effendale, God. Um, I don't know what that is up there. I just know this, right? They, they, because they're elves, what make, what's the difference between an elvish city and a normal city? I don't know. So I think it's lots of like big trees and organic things like leaves and bushes and rivers, lots of archways. They have timber in where they shouldn't have timber. There's there's stone and stuff in the diorite, the white crystally sort of looking stuff. I'm harping on, but I feel like that's what it is. So that's why I'm trying to throw all of those things in the build and the amethyst is going to be coming in back over the other side. Um, lots of texturing, lots of different parts where I've thrown in little bits of shading and things like that. And look up the top here, look at the little circle. I'm so proud of that circle. I've done that like five different times on five different builds. It's just stairs and a stone wall. And just from a, dis a distance, it looks round and I love it. So I put it on top of this building as well. I did one, I did a couple of them back in the tower. Um, so weathered copper on the top and all the different things, it, it really came out good. And I think it suits in with the size of Potential Peak next to it. And I like the different levels to it, as well as I really like the shading. I haven't used a lot of basalt before, but I use some smooth basalt and normal basalt as well at the top there. Um, now, interiors. You know what I'm like at interiors. If you, anyone has watched my channel, if you haven't been watching, subscribe to me, like the video, do the stuff, right? Do all of that. But. If you do know the channel, you know that I'm terrible at doing interiors. Well, I haven't done one for this building. That's not true. I have done one for this building. But before, will I? Before I show you this one, should I show you? Maybe I'll just show you this one. No, 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 wait, wait, no, no. Okay, well, hang on. <laughs> Where am I talking to? Okay, down here, last week I didn't get to show it. Every one of these buildings has an interior. It's not much of an interior. Look, I put up a giant painting, books, beds, and a couple of couches. That, that's it. But I was very proud of the fact that I went inside every one of these buildings and I put a little something something in there, right? So that's what we did. Uh, how do I get through? Through here, yes. Eat some food and let's head back up and I'll show you the interior. Ow. I've been doing that a lot lately, smacking into things. I don't know what it is. Problems with rockets for some reason. Anyway, let's go through the archway. Sightline takes you up there. And then, well, yes, look at this. Beauty. <laughs> it's too big. I think I've stuffed up the sightline thing. I don't understand it. Can someone explain it to me? I don't. No, it looks good from there. It looks great from there. Look at it. It really suits, I keep convincing myself. And it looks good from over here. I cheat cam, cheat cam over to here with the, yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. It's a good building, it's a library. But it's only a library because I haven't, no, it is a library and I've got to show you the inside. Okay, let's, let's before, without further ado, let's go in and have a look inside. <laughs> And here we go. Look, it's a library. You can tell because there are skulls on the wall. Um, bookshelves. That's what you get in a library. Lots of bookshelves with lots of books in them. I, I like these. I like these little things. I like the, the sort of 
I don't know, they, when I just had the books there, it looked a little plain, a little like flat. So then I put the little, the spruce on the top of it and put some fence posts up and things. And I like the way this turned out. I like it like little shelves of books, of bookshelves. I put paintings up. I put little chairs that you can climb up on the tables here where you can do your homework and stuff. Um, what else? Uh, up, ladder up, go up and up here. Look at this, little desks so you can sit at and do work and more books and paintings on the end there. Little bit of greenery, the azalea leaves. I like bringing them back. The, yeah, the top of those, I just, I, it needs something on the top of, what is wrong with my voice? It needs something on the top of those bookshelves because it gets boring. It would be great if I had a seat there where you could sort of sit and look out that window and see that view, but you can't. I love this. I think it looks really good. It looks really good because I'm doing interiors. I don't ever do interiors. I really want to see it <laughs> just, just doing the same thing over and over again. Let me just walk back and forth here. Go back down. Okay, so I like that it's a little bit dingy down here, like a little bit darker and stuff. And I might put a carpet down here and get rid of that skull painting, maybe. I'm not sold on the skull painting in a library thing. Um, let's find a place to do the thing. I'm going to keep this a bit shorter this week, a bit more action-packed. Uh, I might fly back up. Yeah, hang on. Oh, all right. Uh, oh, it looks so good up there. Let's go down here. Yes. Oh, uh, it's quite a view from up here. It looks really good. I like this city. I like the way it's turning out. Uh, ah, see, I forgot to show you with shaders on. I always show you with shaders on. Um, I think it, I really do think it looks good. Like it looks even better with the shaders, right? That looks really good. Yeah. Oh, look at the fog. That's, that's new. I must have changed the setting. And Potential Peak just looking beautiful in the background. That is gorgeous. Okay, let's go over here so we can get the beautiful sunset on my face. Oh, look at that. Guys, thank you very much for joining me. Oh, wait, 1.21 dropped. Wait, what am I doing? I'm just trying to throw seeds out. 1.21 dropped. Um, I'm trying to update as quickly as I can. So I'll probably get that done as soon as I get a couple of essential mods updated. And also don't forget Craft Works Season 2 coming very soon. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. Love you all to death. You guys are the best. Um, have a great week, guys. And thank you so much for all the kind condolences regarding Sniff last week. That was really emotional and really beautiful of you. Thanks, guys. I will speak to you again next week. Bye.